Orange County Realtors has provided this opportunity to address a few legal issues that will affect your business. By now, you should have heard about the serious issue of wire fraud. Hackers, usually from foreign countries, sneak into your computer and monitor your emails. They are watching to find out when a transaction might be closing and the buyer providing funds to escrow. When they believe the opportune time has come, they send out an email appearing as though it comes from you. The email is indistinguishable from the format and appearance of emails you have been using to communicate with your client. The hacker's email provides wire instructions telling your client to go to their bank and arrange for a wire transfer to the account listed in the email. Of course, the account listed in the email is not an account of the escrow holder nor an account of anyone involved in the transaction. The unaware client instructs their bank to make the transfer and the money is off to the hacker. Only in rare circumstances is the bank able to recall the wire when the client learns the wire instructions were part of a fraudulent scam. This scam has already cost Americans over one billion dollars and precluded many of those folks from ever being able to purchase a home. Realtors should be proactive and make it a practice of advising their clients that the client should never respond to an email or text message addressing the payment of funds without personally verifying with the sender. The client should be advised that when they receive an email or text providing wire instructions or a request for accounts or other information to immediately contact the realtor by phone or in person, not by another email. And only if the client is positive they are speaking with their realtor should they follow the directions of the realtor. In addition to hacking emails, Sophisticated hackers can also cause your phone calls to be forwarded. Whenever possible, have the wiring instructions hand delivered from escrow to the realtor to the client. Most people would never turn over the amounts of money in a transaction in any other setting without detailed verification. Keep in mind that if a client makes a transfer in response to a scam email, the money is lost and legal counsel will probably advise that there is no liability on the part of escrow or the realtor. On another note, the recent case of Westside Estate Agency Inc. versus Randall, the court addressed the issue whether a broker could receive compensation in a transaction without a written agreement. In this case, a broker showed a prospective buyer a property and several months later, the buyer purchased the property with the assistance of another broker. The original broker sued for compensation, but the court ruled it could not consider whether the original broker was the procuring cause without a written agreement between the original broker and the prospective buyer. This case serves as a reminder of the importance of assuring all of your agreements with clients are in writing. CAR has prepared a buyer broker agreement which we strongly encourage you to use. Please keep in mind that because you owe a fiduciary duty to your client you must show them all properties that meet their needs, even if the compensation offered by the listing broker is not what you might expect. Without a signed buyer broker agreement, you have no basis to look to your prospective buyer for compensation. As we always advise, 
Make sure all of your agreements with your clients are in writing. And for more information, more legal information from Orange County Realtors, uh, look for this on the website and their newsletter. And always remember, if you have a potential legal issue, speak with your broker and get assistance.